Welcome to my channel. This video is part of this year's IoT and Edge AI project challenge hosted by Circuit Digest and sponsored by DigiKey. This year the challenge was to build the project based on one of the three microcontroller board to choose from, namely Arduino Uno, R4 Wi-Fi from Arduino, Max 78000 from analog devices and Cypid Max Duino from Seed Studio. I chose Arduino Uno R4 as I have more than a decade of experience in the Arduino environment and also this board provides a number of features which fits my project needs. I will discuss these features in a minute. For this contest, I decided to make a smart AC watt hour meter which will read a household power consumption and send the data to the power company through Blink IoT cloud console for billing purpose along with tamper protection. But I needed an enclosure to house all the different sensors and components along with Arduino Uno R4 providing processing power and Wi-Fi connectivity. So I took an old analog watt hour meter and took out all its components out like the PCB, the current transformer, the unit counter and finally got the enclosure as a blank canvas for further designing. In the meantime, I received my Arduino board from DigiKey, sponsor of this contest. Received the board in few days in a well-packaged bubble wrap bag. Inside the box, there was the Arduino Uno R4 board along with some manual and a back cover for the protection of the board. Now I will quickly discuss the features that Arduino R4 provides for my project. Firstly, it's powered by the Renesas RA4M1 32-bit ARM Cortex processor. This provides significantly more processing power than traditional Arduino boards, which is essential for accurately calculating power, energy and handling real-time data. Secondly, with 256 KB of flash memory and 32 KB of RAM, I have enough storage and memory to handle large programs and complex data processing tasks. This particularly useful for data logging and any additional features I might want to add in the future. The integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth powered by ESP32 module allows seamless wireless connectivity this is crucial for my project since I need to send data to platforms like Blink or Arduino IoT Cloud for remote monitoring and control. The board's 12-bit ADC that is analog to digital converter allows it to capture analog signals with greater resolution. This means it can detect more subtle changes in the AC signal leading to more accurate measurements which is vital for power mo monitoring. It has also got the USB-C port, provides faster programming and data communication. This is convenient for development and debugging as it saves time compared to older micro USB or serial interfaces. The 5 volt tolerant input-output pins make this board compatible with older 5 volt sensors and modules so I can integrate legacy components without issues. Overall, these features provide the processing power, memory, connectivity and compatibility that I need to build a reliable and accurate smart AC meter with IoT capabilities. Now to house all the sensors and components and providing connectivity to the Arduino, I needed to design an add-on expansion board. So I started it with drawing the circuit diagram and then arranged all the components into a PCB and send it to a PCB fabrication company. Within a week's time, I received the fully fabricated PCB. The Arduino gets attached at the back of the PCB, so they need to solder two row of male header pins and a CR2032 battery holder for the real-time clock IC. So without wasting any time, I started to solder all the components and sensors on the board. Here I will quickly introduce what all sensors and components are there in the add-on board. To start with, we have the SD card slot. It allows for data logging and backup, making it easy to store and analyze power usage history directly from the meter. 
then we have dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor this sensor monitors the ambient temperature and humidity useful for assessing environmental conditions around the meter then there is 1602 character lcd connector this connector enables easy interfacing with the 1602 lcd displaying real time data such as voltage current and power usage the ds3231 real time clock ic keeps precise time allowing the meter to lock power usage accurately over time for better energy tracking This RGB LED provides visual feedback on the meter's status such as normal operations, alerts or errors using different colors. Then we have this relay which enables control of the power supply to the connected load allowing automatic shutdowns in case of faults or non-payment of outstanding bills. The vibration sensor detects vibrations adding a layer of anti-tampering protection by automatically cutting power if abnormal shocks or knocks are sensed. The current sensor is a Hall effect current sensor measures the AC current with high accuracy essential for calculating power and energy consumption. Then we have the flame sensor comparator IC LM393 which processes the flame sensor signal allowing for reliable flame detection in unsafe conditions this flame sensor detects a flame or fire hazards near the device then we have the voltage sensing transformer which transforms the ac mains voltage to a lower measurable level providing safe isolation and accuracy in voltage sensing The Hall effect magnetic sensor detects magnetic fields which can be useful for sensing magnetic interference or for anti-tampering applications within the meter. The AC to DC 5 volt converter converts or transforms AC's main voltage into a stable 5 volt DC supply powering the entire circuit safely and efficiently. The LM358 operational amplifier is used to amplify the voltage signal allowing for precise signal processing. This adjustable preset allows fine tuning of the voltage sensor gain ensuring accurate voltage measurements. I uploaded the code for the project on the Arduino and attached it on the back of my designed add-on board. and the whole setup was put into the previously salvaged enclosure box all the ac supply in and out like the live in and live out and neutral in and neutral out was bolted down with the pcb and finally the lcd display was connected to the pcb and was screwed to the two available posts of the enclosure the project is now ready for demonstration Here I have connected my meter's output to a 40 watt bulb. I have also attached a readily available commercial digital meter in parallel serving as a reference and validation of the data. And in my laptop runs the Blink IoT web console for the project showing the data received through Wi-Fi in real time. This 40 watt bulb consumes around 42 watt of power as we are currently receiving near about 240 volt which is higher than nominal 220 volt standard. So when this 40 watt bulb consumes 1 kilowatt of power we get a reading of 1 unit. Now as I take a open flame near to the meter it readily cut off the power output. and these gates reported to the blink web console by turning on the fire indicator red and power cut off switch to off position power can be restored only from the web console by turning on the power cut off switch this way the power company can alert the fire department before even the consumer get to know that their meter board is on fire thus preventing bigger disaster Here as soon as I take a powerful magnet near to the meter it cut off the power output and a magnet tampering attempt gets alerted to the web console the power supply company will only restore power after the offender pays a fine and give a explanation for committing such attempt lastly a question arises that what will happen if meter doesn't have wifi access in an area 
the answer is this is just a technology demonstration the same add-on board designed by me can be attached to any microcontroller board having sim based cellular data connectivity and it would work same as it had been demonstrated in this video thank you